Banshees of Inishir and kind of the big uh, winner, I suppose, in terms of nomination so far. We have the stars Kerry Condon, Colin Farrell, uh, Barry Keoghan, uh, Brendan Gleeson. They're all up for nominations and uh, writer-director Martin McDonough as well. He's one of the nominees. Like, I think this is going to clean up like eight nominations in mm. total. And I'm really glad to kind of see the spread because I suppose the conversation was all around, obviously, uh, Brendan Gleeson and Colin Farrell's character specifically because they're the lead characters. But Kerry Condon plays an absolute blinder in this film and I was really annoyed because she wasn't I felt like people weren't talking about her so to see her get this recognition obsessed with that also Barry Keoghan his character is such a freak but just in the best way possible <laughs> and he plays it so well uh, Donald Gleeson is up as well Brendan's son he's up for The Patient it's a psychological thriller on Disney Plus pretty sure he's staring across from uh, Steve Carell I haven't yes, watched it yet I've but seen trailers for that uh, yeah. the reviews have been very good so that'll be interesting um, so the ceremony's being held in Beverly Hills January 10th uh, Golden Globes are usually a good kind of in in terms of the future award ceremonies, so maybe Oscars. So yeah. this is very, very exciting for uh, Irish cinema. And it's definitely. back on TV for the first time in a couple of yes, years. Yes, this is very significant. So uh, the last ceremony was held behind closed doors. It was very strange. There was no famous people in attendance. It was all just tweeted being like, this person won, congrats. And then people were just reacting from their home. It was <laughs> very bizarre. Um, so it's coming back to NBC this year. They cancelled it in January 2020 over a uh, backlash, over lack of diversity ethical lapses on behalf of the award organiser, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Um, Golden Globes have kind of become a bit of a laughing stock in the recent years, so it'll be interesting to see this ceremony come back and to see what it is now and whether people will kind of take yeah. it seriously at all. But and will it be a full red carpet again? Are we yes. back to that? Okay, full great. red carpet and we have a lot of other significant nominees. Other than that, uh, in terms of other TV, show, uh, TV shows and movies, White Lotus got a lot of love, uh, Blackbird, Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, which is the very divisive Netflix series. Uh, in terms of musical nominees, we have Lady Gaga, Up for Hold My Hand with... Uh, What's the movie? Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick, Maverick. my fave, Love my fave. It. Taylor Swift also is up for a Golden Globe as well for her song uh, from Where the Crawdads Sing. She's majorly, she? majorly on the Oscar campaign. Yeah, yeah. Wow, she's it's not directing for music. soon, isn't she's she? She's directing as well. as well. She's got her own movie coming up with Searchlight Pictures, which is very significant wow. after directing the 10 minute long All Too Well music video. So, yeah, she's. She's on the rampage. She wants an Oscar. And so does Gaga, in fairness. Gaga is like, give me the Oscar for this pilot movie or I'm going to be snapping, to be honest. Give it to her. She deserves it. 